Lakota elders picked Crazy Horse for the mountain carving, and they insisted the memorial be located in the Black Hills. The hills are revered by native people, such as Olympic champion Billy Mills. Crazy Horse Memorial, I think, needs to be, uh, it represents two things to me. It represents the integrity of our elders who asked Korshak to build a monument honoring one of our chiefs in our sacred Black Hills. Man, I got a letter from this old Indian I'd never met, standing there. And he asked if I'd build a memorial to their people so the white people know the red man had great heroes also. Well, having brought myself up and being American of Polish descent, I thought that was a, it wasn't too much to ask for. And I had no place to go. Crazy Horse was one of the strategists at the Battle of the Little Big Horn. He never signed a treaty and refused to live on a reservation. He was stabbed in the back by a soldier while under a flag of truce. Crazy Horse died on September 6th, 1877. Korchak was born 31 years later on that same day, September 6th. Many Native Americans consider that an omen he was destined to carve Crazy Horse.